What is going on guys? This is Miasin. So not too long ago, I've actually made a shorts video on like the new Spring Games XTs, which is not really that new. I mean, it's coming out in Photon Hypernova, I think. Don't quote me on that. And that card is not only extremely overpowered, like just generically, because it allows you to have like super easy access to like a four material Zeus, on top of being able to search like Theron Regulus. But on top of that, in the actual Spriggins deck, it's uh, obviously way better. And not only that, but there are also some other like new Spriggins cards that honestly I had like no idea even existed. Well, actually, that's not true. I knew they existed, but I completely forgot because I kind of thought, eh, this deck kind of sucks. Nobody really talks about it. Nobody plays it. So why would I even bother? But uh, I was completely wrong. This deck is extremely overpowered and it, this is not just clickbait. This deck really is insane. Like, you can make super unbreakable boards with not even that many cards. This very simple 1.5 card combo is already ridiculously insane. So today I'll show you guys four combos on how to properly utilize this deck featuring the new support. But before this video starts, my man, you already know it. If you want to do me a favor and make me really happy, please smash the like and the subscribe button right now. I really appreciate you guys. Deck profile will be, up, uh, will be up tomorrow as always. And also, as soon as we get 1,000 likes on this uh, video, I'll be making a live stream on this deck. And now let's jump right into it. All right, so combo number one, my hand is not the best. All I have is watch and a Spriggan's card. That's it, that's all. It's pretty much nothing. So I'm gonna go watch to search for the field spell. And then I activate the field spell and I discard any Spriggan's card. And that is the combo. So uh, it's not even like you have to draw two watch very specifically. You can draw the gold, 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 gunda or any of the cards that would lead to it like terraforming or the um, the continuous spell card for spriggans there there's like 20 billion ways to like search this card with any spriggans discard and you're going to be able to go into merrymaker which foolishes for any spriggans monster and you can play from there so you're going to be attaching back this card the rocky and then overlaying into sargus and this is the really cool part so you're going to be searching for the new card new insane quick play uh tally host spriggans this card is insanity so if you want, when you activate this card, you can detach up to three materials from monsters you control and you can get like a bonus effect on your effect if you do that. But even if you don't detach a single material, it's still a reinforcement of the army quickly spell card. So that's actually insane. It searches any Spriggan's monster from your deck to your hand. And since I wanted to detach, you know, up to three materials, I can also revive back or summon monsters from my hand or graveyard while Spriggan's up to the amount of materials detached. That is literally freaking ridiculous. So I'm going to be summoning two monsters right away, and then I'm going to go Sargas effect because of the fact that I detach a material from an Xyz monster on the field. I can return back or destroy any card on the field to the hand. Well, I mean, I can either destroy a card on the field to the, um, completely or bounce it back to the hand. So I'm going to be bouncing back my gold Golgonda. Now, what are we going to be uh, making, like overlaying these two level four monsters into? It's a pretty good card. It's a card that uh, might actually lead to like an FTK or something. Although this is not really an FTK, it kind of is because I'm going to be searching Cyberstein. And uh, I really don't see how I can lose here because I'm going to be summoning Naturia Exterio and then going into Gigantic Splite, go into my Splite engine. I don't necessarily have to make, uh, you know, Toad or something. I can just go Gigantic Summon Blue and then Summon Jet and then search Starter or Smashers. By the way, Smashers in this deck is actually really filthy. So in this deck, Smashers can actually summon a Spriggan's monster from the deck. I bet you didn't know that. But uh, yeah, the card doesn't only just banish cards you're upon controls by banishing, you know, a level 2 or rank 2 or link 2 monster from the hand or field. No, no, no. It also allows you to either summon a Spriggans from your deck or revive back a Theron's from the graveyard. Again, nobody knows these kind of things because when people play Sp Sm uh, Splite Smashers, it's only like in the Splite engine. Not really, you know, for Spriggans, but this deck, it inherently has synergy with Splite. It's not just I'm splashing these cards just for fun, why not? No, no, no. Anyways, I'm going to go into an elf and then revive back any uh, monster, it really doesn't matter. And then link off into IP Masquerade and then just like that, one card with a discard equals Naturia Exterio with a red, and then elf that can revive back something that gets me another search, Masquerade into Avermax or, uh, I don't know, Ap Appaloosa, Unicorn, anything you want, it really doesn't matter too much, but... This is pretty much an unbreakable board because whenever you use a spell or trap, I'm just going to negate with Exterio, and then the red is going to be negating monster effects. So uh, yeah, good luck, have fun. This is an absolute nightmare to deal with, but that's it for combo number one. Let's get right into combo number two now. All right, combo number two, my hand is much, much better, even though it's still a two-card combo. This time I have the booty. <laughs> it's, this card's not booty though, it's really good. And then uh, Spriggan's Watch, which is the same card that I showed in combo number one, but 
All I really did with watch was uh, search Gold Golgunda, which is the field spell. Now I'm going to be doing something a little nastier. So activate the booty and then, uh, you know, use its effect to activate the field spell. So even if you just draw the field spell inst instead of searching the booty, uh, well, instead of drawing the booty to get the field spell, it does the exact same because this is really just like another terraforming. This deck, like I said, plays 20 billion terraformings. Even this is a terraforming. So, <laughs> you know, it's really consistent. And all you need is this and a discard. That's it. That's all. It's a joke anyways uh, this is uh, when you when you have the gold gold gun down the field you can search a spriggan's monster from the deck to the hand and also foolish your deck for a spriggan's monster and this uh, this boy right there level eight has a really nice graveyard effect anyways gold 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 effects summon the merrymaker and then foolish for the brothers and now you're going to be triggering the effect of brothers so when it is sent from the hand or deck to the grave you can revive back a spriggan's monster from the grave so you're gonna be reviving back the rocky and Rocky is kind of like a Kigari in a way for monsters, so recycle back the uh, brothers. And then normal summon, go into Sargas, and then search my deck for the Ethereum uh, Discoliseum. This is so freaking nice, huh? And now I'm gonna go Gear Gigant X, uh, search for Cyberstein, and because of the fact that uh, Xyz material was detached, I can bounce back a crown of the field, so bounce back my field spell, so that when I activate the Ethereum field spell, I don't have to like place it on top of the Ghoul Golgonda. So this is actually a plus one for me, otherwise it would have been a neg one. Now I'm going to be searching for the Regulus and then search my deck for uh, pretty much anything with the effect of the uh, Brian Gum. And I'm going to go, uh, you know, Platinum, uh, summon the Regulus by getting the Sargas, summon the Cyberstein, summon the Exterio, all of that again, just with two cards. Gigantic, summon Blue Jet, do everything I want. I can search the Smashers, it really doesn't matter. Or I can go like Starter into Red, it really depends on what kind of interruptions I'm trying to make. I mean, regardless of what I'm really doing at this point, who's winning through like Exterio with like Regulus, Elf, Jet? This is like way too much for pretty much anyone. And for the 10th billion time, I just want to remind people that this is only like a 1.5 to 2 card combo. You really don't need much, so imagine what you can do with more cards. Alrighty, so what happens when you have like a full hand of 5 cards? My hand right now is pretty good. Again, I have like so many ways of getting my stuff going. So I have Terraforming, Imperm, Rocky, Splite Blue, as well as Brangam. Uh, this is not really good to draw, it's just a one-of, but it's 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 fine. So I'm gonna go terraforming to get my gold Golgunda, and then use its effect, so detach, well, discard the, the Rocky, and then summon the Merrymakers, send the Brothers, revive back the Rocky, and then recycle back the Brothers, whatever. This is like the exact same thing every single time, so this doesn't change, and then Sargas is going to be searching for what? The Discoliseum, of course, and then go into Gear Gigant. The very beginning of the combo is the exact same, but... Uh, it's going to be, uh, I guess not, it's not that it's going to be necessarily different, but you're going to see that I have just like different lines of play because I also drew like a splite monster and I might have too many monsters on the field to like the point where this might become a little tricky to do. Yeah, imagine suffering from having too much uh, money. <laughs> Anyways, gigantic and then summon uh, the jet again. So search for the smashers. There's really no reason to go into starter because I already have red access and then revive back a monster and make the mascarina. Set to back row, and uh, yeah, I could have also discarded that with the Gold Golgunda, but then it would have been a little whack because when I foolish for the brothers, I have to revive back the brand gun, which is a level 8, so I can't really make your gigant with it, and uh, that kind of sucks. So this was unfortunately ideal, even though there were kind of like useless cards in my hand, so I could have done that with actually less cards, and the Imperium really isn't like a part of the combo or anything. And all the blue really did was allow me to also end on a red on the field. So, again, this was really just a two-card combo. Shockingly enough, yes, I know. Alrighty, no more mindfucks. This is an actual, like, multiple cards combos. But, but Multiple cards combo. Jesus, I completely messed that up. But it's really nasty. And my hand is also not super ideal, but it's still good. Like, Brothers is, like, the worst monster that you can draw because... It, I mean, it's not bad, but it's it kind of sucks because, yeah, it's it's not good to draw. And then I... <laughs> that made no sense. I also drew Taliho, which is extremely broken, double booty, which this time is booty because it's once per turn, and then one jet. Uh, again, everything leads to Rome, so I have the nuts. I get my gold Golgunda, and then discard the Brothers, summon the Merrymaker. The Brothers doesn't have a... doesn't get its effect because there's no Spriggan's monster, monster to revive. This is why if I drew, like, anything else, it would have been, like, so much better. So this is actually very uh, suboptimal, but it's fine. So the brand guy is going to be uh, attaching itself to Merrymaker. Same thing with the brothers. And now I can go into Sargas and then not use an effect to, like detach. So this is insane. I still have three materials. This is so broken. It's free, man. And then detach three, search the Rocky, and then revive back every monster from the grave. This is like a soul charge and a, uh, a searcher. It's so unfair, man. Oh, my God. And yeah, chilling one, chilling two. So recycle back the Merrymaker, bounce back the gold Golgunda. 
And again, as always, Gear Gigant X. Well, the on field spell to search Regulus first, but yeah, now Gear Gigant search the Cyberstein. This is like the, the only like weird card that you have to play and not even bad. Like it's it really doesn't matter. But yeah, summon the Cyberstein. And then if I want to, I can summon the jet first or after. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, Gigantic, summon the uh, blue, which is going to be searching me for the red. And now summon the jet. <laughs> well, search whatever with the bring god. That didn't even matter. Oh my god. This is so crazy. I'm just getting more cards in my hand that just don't even change anything. Search the smashers because my board's obviously not good enough. And then Elf revive back. <laughs> Go into Gin Buster and then summon the red. Oh my god. And set two back row and pass turn. Oh, and by the way, also activating this, the booty, because uh, it has another effect uh, as a continuous spell. I know, huh? If a face up exceeds monster you control leaves the field by a card effect, you can target one effect monster upon controls. Neither player can activate that effect monsters on the field this turn. So it's another interruption in case uh, there's like a way for you to like send an exceeds monster you control to the graveyard by a card effect which should not be that hard in case like your opponent tries to like just i don't know like destroy it or something i don't even maybe there's a, there's like a better way to do it but uh, either way i really don't see how you lose here so you have the sargas which is an interruption because whenever you use the effect of gin buster you're detaching materials which will trigger the effect of sargas to bounce or destroy any uh you know card on the field and then you have the regulus which is an omni negate of course for any effect you have the Nature Exterior, which basically is a no, no, no for spells and shafts. So this is already like game on its own. The red is a monster negate, so you obviously have like three ways to like cover monsters. And then you have the Smashers as well, which is like generically good against everyone. And the Elf, which gets you back your resources or whatever. And makes it so that your opponent can't even like target your most annoying cards. So yeah, there's really just no way for like anyone to beat this. Unless you have like Dark Ruler in the nuts. But, you know, at this point, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, there's not much I can do here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this combo video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.